What's up everyone, this is FP Sticks bringing you some more Go Battle League battles here in the Ultra League. So, uh, if you're like me, you've probably noticed very quickly that Cresselia is ridiculously overpowered in the Ultra League. Um, oh my gosh, with this moveset of Psycho Cut, Moonblast, and Future Sight, this thing just puts in so much work. Honestly, um, I really don't think that they should have given Moonblast an attack debuff chance, or if anything, they should make it 10% instead of uh, what I believe it to be 30%, because it seems like this attack debuff just occurs way too frequently, and it allows you to flip some matchups that you really like shouldn't be winning just based on your typing, but... Cresselia, one of the bulkiest Pokemon in Ultra League. Yes, it's very expensive to build, but I think it is well worth your dust and rare candies and resources because this thing just puts a beating on so many of the Pokemon in the meta. Um, obviously, you are going to be hard countered by Registeel. Nothing you can get, do against Registeel. Um, S Cavalier is a decent counter to Cresselia as well, but in some shielding scenarios, Cresselia can still beat S Cavalier just because of its bulk. Um, Alolan Muck is a good way to keep Cresselia in check as well, but again, Moonblast is going to be hitting you for neutral, and that really chips away. Moonblast is, is a pretty good move now that Niantic changed the, uh, the damage and energy costs on it, so... In this video, I have a lot of matches where I'm just using this team of Cresselia, Gyarados, and Swampert, and you can kind of see how it plays out. I've been having decent success in Ultra League with this team so far. I've been slowly going up uh, in rating every day, and Cresselia, I think, is just such a safe lead. Um, even against Mel Metal, this uh, matchup is totally playable. I actually ran into a lot of Mel Metal leads, surprisingly. Uh, maybe because people didn't want to fully invest in a Registeel. I know I still don't have a Registeel built, um, but Registeel is again one of those meta-defining Pokemon in Ultra League, which eventually, hopefully, I'll get a decent IV spread on a lucky one to save some resources and, and be able to build it, but... Let's take a look at how some of these matchups play out. Again, there's a lot of matches in this video, and I tried to fast forward the speed a little bit faster than normal because these Ultra League battles take forever, man. Jeez. Um, I'm also running Gyarados and Swampert on this team because both Gyarados and Swampert have play against Registeel, which is Cresselia's worst matchup. So if I do run into a Registeel, I have two things in the back that can kind of support Cresselia. And I found Gyarados to be a pretty decent safe swap with an energy advantage that Dragon Breath damage plus Crunch and Hydro Pump really allows you to hit for neutral on pretty much everything. Um, other than Polyrath, uh, but at least the Dragon Breath is still hitting for neutral, but it will resist Crunch and Hydro Pump. Armored Mewtwo. Okay, this thing is still pretty legit, but honestly, if you're running the typical moveset of Psy Strike and Dynamic Punch, you're kind of walled by Cresselia. So, Armored Mewtwo is one of my favorite Pokemon in Season 1, but with the rise of Cresselia in this season, I'm, uh... Not thinking that it's going to be performing too well, for me at least. Maybe it's working out really well for you, but I I hate running into Pokemon that will be walled by Cresselia, because it's everywhere. There's the Melmetal again. I'm going to be able to get this Hydro Cannon off on this Melmetal. Then I bring out my Gyarados with Stored Energy to land this Crunch. But it's not enough to take it out. And this Melmetal is going to throw a Rock Slide, but beautiful undercharge on their part. They're able to farm me down, and now they're going to be able to get to a superpower on my Swampert. So I kind of threw the game there. I probably should have just stayed in with my Swampert and then uh, thrown the Crunch onto the Melmetal. But uh, because I switched in my Gyarados, I <laughs> gave it an energy advantage and threw that game. All right, you thought Azumarill Mirror Mashes were the worst? Nah. This is the worst right here. Cresselia mirror matches. They take forever. You gotta go straight Moonblast the whole time. And it's essentially just a matter of who's gonna get the debuff. That's who's gonna win out this matchup. My Cresselia has really bad PvP IVs, which means that I actually end up winning CMP in a lot of these mirror matches because my attack stat is uh, higher than my opponent's. 
but if neither of us get debuffed, I, I sometimes end up losing this because uh, Microcellia is not as bulky. Also, uh, if those of you noticed, I pretty much only run like shiny Pokemon in Ultra League. I'm not really as concerned about IV spreads for Ultra League. Um, in Great League, I do care a lot more about IV spreads, but uh, in Ultra League, man, I just use a lot of shinies and try to have fun with uh, what I got going on there. So, Microcellia was actually able to win out that matchup because I had CMP. And here's this Alolan Muck. The thing that sucks is that the Alolan Muck is going to be able to just farm me down with Snarl. Not great. It's like capped at 100 energy right now. So even if I bring in Swampert, which is a good counter th to this, I'm going to have to essentially eat two Dark Pulses, which almost does all of Swampert's health. You can see the Snarl damage plus that Dark Pulse did about 50% of Swampert's health. I now have to shield... And I'm at a shield disadvantage here. I'm going to over farm a little bit. This Alolan Muck is, I think, barely in Hydro Cannon range. So they do shield up. They have their own Swampert in the back. I bank a Hydro Cannon, and now I switch into my own Gyarados. Gyarados does resist all of Swampert's attacks as long as it's not running Sludge Wave. But Gyarados is so glassy that three Hydro Cannons is enough to take out Gyarados, which is absolutely insane. Um, because I'm double resisting the mud shot damage, uh, and I'm resisting the hydro cannon damage while I'm hitting for neutral damage with my own Gyarados, but, uh, it's still a very close fight, which is kind of hilarious. All right, I'm up a shield. This Alolan Muck is going to try to snarl me down, but I'm not going to let it happen. They have to throw, and I still have a shield, so my Swampert with the loaded hydro cannon in the back is going to be able to cleanly take this victory. Good game. Again, hope you guys dig some of the background music here. I really like having uh, some background music going on. Just fills the dead space sometimes. Okay, Cresselia against Lapras. I think there's two ways you can play this. You can either just go straight, uh, straight Moonblast to try to get the debuff. Uh, or you can just go straight Future Sight for more damage. You can see the Psycho Cut damage plus the Future Sight damage there did about 50% of Lapras's health, which is great. And now I actually go for Future Sight on the second move there. Or I, I went for Moonblast on the second move there. Um, essentially trying to bait, but it's uh, not that less of energy cost for a Moonblast. Just going to go for another Moonblast there. But this is a pretty solid matchup for Cresselia. Obviously, the Ice Beams are going to hit for more damage than the Surfs. Um, and actually, right here, the Lapras is able to outpace me. So, um, it looks like, yeah, Lapras is able to outpace me. That's totally fine. I'm going to bring in my Gyarados to farm this down and avoid getting hit by a charge move. Gyarados with loaded energy has a lot of play. Out comes Charizard. So this makes me think, okay, maybe there's a, uh, there could be a number of things that could be in the back. Cresselia could be in the back, or Giratina, or Registeel. But this Charizard is still staying in here. I actually swapped in my Swampert to catch a move. Okay, it is a Giratina in the back. So I really need to get to this Earthquake. I'm able to get to it. Let's see if the Giratina wants to expend its last shield. Nope, the Earthquake connects, and it was actually a CMP tie, which is even better for me. Oh, nice undercharge for my opponent. But I'm going to bring out my Gyarados. The Dragon Breath damage plus uh, these crunches will be enough to take out this uh, Giratina here. This is one of the main reasons why I like running Gyarados with uh, Dragon Breath, Crunch, and Hydro Pump. You can thread and Registeel with the Hydro Pump nuke. And you can also thread and Giratina hidden for super effective damage with the uh, Dragon Breath and Crunch. Okay, Cresselia against Articuno. This is a matchup that I believe Cresselia loses over time just because of all of these attack debuffs. However, I'm just going to go straight Moonblast here and see if I can roll the dice and get some attack debuffs on the Articuno as well. Boom! I get an, atta uh, an attack debuff right there, which is great. Again, I think 30% chance is way too high for this to occur, especially with how much damage uh, Moonblast does. But this opening matchup takes forever <laughs> i got another debuff what in the world and then i'm able to outpace this articuno to this next moon blast which goes through uh and i was actually going to be able to win out that matchup so now i stay in here bank some energy i really wanted to catch a rock slide on this swampert 
but that Melmetal was way too smart and now I'm gonna have to get hit with two superpowers but I know I can still tank it and um, this Melmetal should be in range of Hydro Cannon now because of the du uh, double debuff but it's not it's barely survives that Wow and unfortunately, I'm going to have to commit a shield now, and I really want to mud shot down this Melmetal. I'm able to do it. I'm anticipating the Articuno to come back out. I saw the typing in the top right corner, and I'm going to instantly throw this Hydro Cannon. Down goes Articuno. It's their own Gyarados in the back. Interesting. So I have my uh, Cresselia with loaded energy, so I'm going straight for the Moonblast here. I know I'm going to be uh, getting some of these shields. If I could get the attack debuff, that would be amazing. So I do shield this up because I want to get this last moon blast off and I know that will draw the shield. I actually think I barely end up losing this matchup because now I have to bring out my own Gyarados here. I should win this, right? Do I lose this? I don't know. We'll see. The Gyarados is going to get to a crunch here, which isn't going to be able to... I should definitely win this. I actually ran into a lot of Gyarados mirror matches uh, while doing these battles, and so it's kind of get confused on which ones I got destroyed on, but we end up winning that game. Good game. Cresselia against Articuno again. Man, this is such a long matchup to watch. Again, the way that I like to go about this is just straight Moonblast. I'm not sure why I didn't throw right away. Oh, I think it's because I realized that I get to a CMP tie on the first two Moon Blasts, I believe. Um, and so I wanted to try to sneak in an extra Psycho Cut. But as you can see, I'm actually just behind on energy now. So that's kind of a huge fail. Because I'm double debuffed now and I haven't gotten any attack debuffs off on the Articuno. So, okay, there's one attack debuff, and here's where I outpace the Articuno to the next charge move. I think it's, it's either the third or fourth moon blast that you outpace it, and there's the double debuff. Oh my gosh, that is, that's just disgusting. Oh, but the Articuno goes for Hurricane. Oh crap, and they have Shift Tree in the back. This team struggles against a Shift Tree in the back, I'll tell you what. So I have to bring in Gyarados to essentially just Dragon Breath chunk this thing down. I don't shield up the first Leaf Blade because I don't want to kind of uh, psychologically let my opponent know that I'm really weak to Shift Tree in the back. So because they committed their first shield, I will uh, in turn commit my shield here, but I'm going to have to double shield here. I'm absolutely going to have to double shield because this thing is going to destroy my Swampert. I really hope he doesn't shield. He makes an amazing switch into Articuno. Um, I don't know. Okay, I thought he was going to switch into something different, but this actually totally blew the matchup for me. Uh, he switched into Articuno. I should have just stayed in there with Gyarados and Dragon Breathed it down. Because, see you later, Swampert. That thing got one-shotted by Leaf Blade, and now I don't have enough play against this Reggie. Totally could have won this game here. Totally could have won this game. Um, but really good switch from my opponent, and then really bad recognition on my part of what came in. I was just like, oh, he switched, so I better switch too. But it was Articuno, and then Shift Tree came in and, and ruined my Swampert's life there. So, really good play on my opponent. Okay, Cresselia against Alolan Muck. I actually ran into this matchup a lot today as well while I was doing my battles. I go straight for the Moonblast, and then I switch in my Gyarados. Look how much that Moonblast did. Half health to Alolan Muck. That is great. That is really great. And then they bring out their own Cresselia. Gyarados has play against Cresselia. The Dragon Breath plus, uh, plus the Crunch damage, this is this is totally great. I could even consider committing a shield here, which I do, because I feel like I'm going to get to another Crunch. I got the attack debuff there, which sucks. Uh, but you dish out the debuff, and sometimes you take the debuff. So as you can see, Cresselia didn't even have to shield, and it was able to uh, take out my Gyarados there. Granted, I was at half health coming into that matchup, but... I'm going to have to bring out my own Cresselia now, and this is like crazy aggressive. I'm going to try to Psycho Cut down uh, this Cresselia, but it is not happening at all. So instead, I'm just going to cap out on 100 energy. I want a Moon Blast to threaten this Alolan Muck when it comes back, but it already had a Dark Pulse stored. This really sucks. They still have two shields. I'm going to switch into my Swampert right now. And they have Polyrath in the back. Oh, man. Polyrath with two shields is... Uh, really going to be able to handle my backline as well. 
Gyarados and Swampert both can kind of hit it for some neutral damage, but Poliwrath can dish out um, much better neutral damage to my opponent or uh, against me. So I'm just going for the Earthquake here. Of course it gets shielded, that really sucks. But honestly, I don't even think an Earthquake would have KO'd at that range. I could have possibly tried to double bait there. The Ice Punch is not enough to take me out. I'm able to get this last second Hydro Cannon. And then I bring in Cresselia. Oh man, I think I throw this game too. I could have totally won this. I shield up the Ice Punch. I know I have to over farm on this Muck. I should have done like one more, one or two more Psycho Cuts. Because look how close I am to getting to this Moonblast, and I, I just, I lost CMP. If I had one more Psycho Cut, I would have been able to take that. But I was very nervous because of that Alolan Muck. Good games to my opponent. Bad play on my part. The more I use this team, the more I get comfortable with it. So here's the thing with this Charizard matchup. My entire back line handles Charizard. Um, and most people that run Charizard are going to run something that uh, hard counters Swampert. So I'm assuming there's going to be like a Giratina in the back. There could even be a Grass type in the back. I'm very curious as to why my opponent did not shield there. It looks like they're just going to go straight Blast Burn and try to burn some shields. Which definitely is a play. Blast Burn still hurts Cresselia. I got the attack debuff right there, which is really good. I'm going to let that Dragon Claw go through, and then I'm going to throw this Moonblast. I didn't want to get hit by another Dragon Claw, so I win the lead, but out comes Alolan Muck. Man, their team is really weak to Swampert. What would they do if someone led Swampert? They have Alolan Muck and Charizard on the same squad. So Dark Pulse hits, uh, again, for about half health, and because that Alolan Muck got that energy advantage, this isn't as favorable of a matchup for Swampert. In this matchup, I always build up to an Earthquake and then throw Hydro Cannon. It's pretty risky to try to go straight Earthquake, because if it gets shielded, you're going to be at a huge energy disadvantage, and that matchup is not going to be near as favorable. It's a Cresselia in the back. So we should be able to handle this. I'm going to let the Moonblast go through. As long as my Gyarados doesn't get debuffed with this health advantage, I should totally have this match. I'm anticipating this to be a moon blast. It is. I don't get the debuff. Thank goodness. Just going to go for the crunch here. And I should be able to take this game. Yeah, Charizard, Alolan, Muck, and Cresselia. Man, doesn't have a whole lot of play against Swampert because there's no Giratina in there. Uh, Swampert lead probably would be tough for that team to deal with. Good game there. Going up against Wallower here. Cresselia against Hariyama, amazing matchup for me. I do know that Hariyama has access to um, Heavy Slam though. So I want to throw a Moonblast onto this Giratina before switching in my... Okay, they're actually going to throw a move here. Probably a Shadow Sneak. Yep. Now I'm going to bring out my Gyarados uh, because I don't want to bring my Gyarados into a matchup that I'm at a health or energy disadvantage. So... That's why I threw the Moonblast first, and I'm fully committed to just Dragon Breath uh, farming down this Giratina here. Dragon Claw still chunks. I'm anticipating... Oh no! Okay, this team struggles against Charmers a lot. Uh, they do shield up the Hydro Pump. I'm up a shield. I need to bring out Swampert to just totally go to town on this thing. But out comes Hariyama, and my Switch Clock is not up because I, I didn't wait out the Switch Clock enough, I don't think. Oh man, okay, I switch into Cresselia now, but that Grand Bolt is going to be really difficult to deal with. I knew it was going to be a Heavy Slam, but it doesn't get stabbed and it really doesn't do that much damage. I'm over farming here, probably too much, probably too much, because now I have to shield up a Heavy Slam. Uh, but the thing is, it's not going to be the charge moves that are going to do me in, it's going to be that charge uh, charm damage. So. I guess the over farm was necessary because now I'm going to be able to get this Moonblast off in the Grand Bowl. They don't shield it. I get the attack debuff. Totally unfair. And this is actually going to allow me to win because I got that attack debuff. Because uh, all I need to do is get to one more Hydro Cannon and we totally have this. Good game. I have really thought about running Sludge Wave on my Swampert and I actually did it a lot in Season 1. Specifically for reasons like that. Oh man, the uh, the charm matchup is is a little scary if they double shield. 
This is an amazing matchup for me. I'm expecting them to switch out. There's Snorlax. So I'm going to throw a future site before bringing in... I ah, have some options here. Okay, I will end up bringing in Swampert. Just because Swampert is slightly less flexible than Gyarados. Only slightly. And I just say that because um, against grass types, you're kind of walled. Whereas Gyarados has play against Cresselia. It has play against some of the grass types. It has play against Giratina. It has play against Registeel. So I'm going to save my more flexible Pokemon. But dude, Snorlax with energy advantage sucks to deal with. Really sucks to deal with. Because now... Uh, I have to be at a shield disadvantage if I want to win this. Not good at all. Oh my gosh, there's the grass type. A Meganium in the back, really? This is not good. Not good at all. Because I'm down a shield, I couldn't bring out Gyarados on this. And now I don't have anything to hard thread in the Polyrath. So this is going to be really rough. I don't get the attack debuff. Man, when you need the attack debuff the most, you don't get it. And when you're already in a favorable matchup, you just sit there and debuff your opponent a million times. It's ridiculous. This Meganium might try to Vine Whip me down. That'd be a really good play. Oh my gosh. Okay, then they switch into Snorlax to farm me down. That is a loaded Meganium, and I am in a world of hurt right now. I am so screwed. They have a loaded Polyrath. They have a loaded Meganium. I tried to sack my Swampert, but they are too fast. I need to Dragon Breath down this thing before it gets to another Frenzy Plant, able to do it. But there's Polyrath. These Ice Punches are for sure going to be enough to take me out. Really nice plays by my opponent. They had a favorable lead, but you can see just how devastating Snorlax is as a switch-in. Like, maybe I should have stayed in with my Cresselia even longer and tried to double, double Future Sight to at least get a shield advantage or something, because, man, that was rough. That was rough, for sure. Good game. Cresselia against Melmetal. Okay, again, this is a playable matchup. I think if you go straight straight Future Sight, you win in the Zero Shield. Whereas if you go straight Moonblast, you win in the Double Shield. But <clears throat> in reality, uh, I tend to not commit any shields in this opening matchup. And kind of just let my Cresselia go down. And I'm just going straight Moonblast here. I don't know why I'm over farming. I should be throwing these Moonblasts right away to try to get these debuffs off as quickly as possible. So kind of a mistake on my part. Uh, no debuffs so far. Oh my gosh. Out comes Shift Tree. So I need to throw this Moonblast before swapping into Gyarados most likely. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness my opponent let that Moonblast through. Because Shiftry is a problem for this entire team, honestly. If they, if someone led Shiftry, I would probably have to stay in there, double shield my Cresselia, and just Moonblast it. Or try to get a shield advantage, maybe, and then bring out Gyarados to Dragon Breath it down. But, oh, that would not be good. Going straight for Hydro Pump here, because both Crunch and Hydro Pump are resisted on Polyrath. They let the Hydro Pump go through, which is good for me. They are storing so much energy. I still have two shields though, and Cresselia is going to kind of be a wall to this uh, Polyrath here. Ice punches just barely chip away. I have Swampert in the back for the Melmetal, and so I switch it in to get an energy advantage, and my opponent leaves the match. Good game there. Cresselia against Melmetal again. We're down with this. This is more playable than against Registeel, just because Melmetal is not that bulky. In Master League, that's where Melmetal really shines because it's able to reach uh, its maximum stat product. But Ultra League is where Registeel is just a monster. Alright, I got the attack debuff on this Melmetal. Let's see how this plays out that I'm going straight Moonblast now. Oh man, okay. Double Rock Slides here, which is not great. Gonna try for the Moonblast debuff again. Let's see if I can get it. Nope, I do not. And it takes like four Moonblasts to KO this Melmetal. It's absolutely insane. Rock Slide is doing a decent amount of damage here. At this point, the Melmetal might try to Thundershock me down. That could definitely be a play, but I just got another attack debuff. So they're gonna throw energy here. That's fine with me. I can bring out Swampert to farm this thing down. Um, but again, if there's grass in the back, this team is, is going to have some troubles here. They're able to get to a last second superpower, but their attack has been debuffed already so much that I'm fine with this. 
Let's see what they want to bring out. They bring out their own Cresselia, and this is a Confusion Cresselia, so um, more damage with the fast moves, but nowhere near as much energy generation. I don't know why I switched out there. Uh, yes, Gyarados does have a more favorable matchup against Cresselia, um, but I did have a lot of an energy advantage with Swampert. I don't know. We'll see. The Confusion damage really hurts both of my Pokemon, and he's still staying in here, which is interesting to me. So, I'm thinking it must be a Registeel in the back. Oh, they got the attack debuff, which sucks. But I'm going to throw another Crunch here. It's going to hit for super effective. Does not do that much damage now with the debuff. Really sucks. I'm able to get to another Crunch. What is in the back? I'm very curious. It is their own Gyarados. So, I immediately switch into my Swampert. Um, I cleared the debuff off on my Gyarados. But again, I need to hit three Hydro Cannons to take out this Gyarados. It's not going to happen. Gyarados is going to be able to get to a crunch. And it should be able to take me out. And then my own Gyarados can't hang with it. So good games. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Cresselia is an absolute beast. I highly recommend that you build one. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video.